guys we are doing a cook with me on Cory's egg frittata this is the cast of the ingredients we have spinach that we got from the farmers market today we have jalapeno pepper jack cheese you can use asiago cheddar whichever you like we like pepper jack so more that's what we got today yeah the more flavorable more sharp cheese works better in a frittata salt and pepper uh, about two and a half to three ounces of onion, chopped and di or diced. Some garlic, half a red pepper or two and a half ounces, third of a cup. Some bacon, we use Nooski bacon. We don't use anything bought at the store. We get ours right at Nooski. And then five farm fresh eggs. This is our frittata and that's what you need for the ingredients. All right guys, we are starting this cook with me with four slices of bacon frying up. That is step number one. Next step is to shred up some cheese. Corey's doing that for me. We got some pepper jack here. Jalapeno pepper jack. Jalapeno pepper jack. Yeah, good enough. There's so one ounce. On four points for one ounce. Yep. And then the next step after that is to chop up some onion and peppers. I just sprayed a little tiny bit of this so non-stick, but we're also going to use a teaspoon of our bacon grease along with that. We have our bacon cooked and ready to go. We're going to crumble that up. We just remembered we had frozen onions. Well, Corey remembered. So we're going to use up those instead of cutting up a fresh one. So we're gonna use about a half a cup of onions, two and a half ounces. For measuring purposes, we prefer to weigh so we don't have to dirty measuring cup, but for measuring purposes, it was a third of, third of a cup of peppers or a half a pepper. And then we got about a half a cup of onions because we like onions a lot. We have spinach here. This is about two cups about. And the, we got the big spinach from the farmer's market. So this stuff is huge. So we cut off the stems because otherwise it gets really stringy and yucky in your dish. So we cut those off and then Corey's just going to julienne these. No, chop them. It's kind of about inch squares. Inch squares about, You're yeah. supposed to rip it, I mean, you can rip it off, but I don't see why. Why do you bother if you got a knife handy? Yeah. And don't throw it on the floor. Don't throw it on the floor, that's right. These are not huge leaves. Yeah, it wilts down, so it's it's going to be fine like that. I'm preheating this to medium. I got to put my handle on here yet. Okay, chop your bacon. Crumble it up. Crumble it, chop it, whichever. Works just as good as the last time. If it's cooked nice and crispy. Yep, we like it crispy cooked, so this crumbles pretty easily once it's cooled off. That's good enough. The amount of cheese we're using, one ounce for four smart points. A pretty healthy salad right <laughs> bacon was two smart points we are adding peppers and the onions and we're gonna fry those up a little bit before we do anything else we want to start seeing translucent onions okay this has been cooking for about four minutes now after the pan was preheated and it's just about ready, but we want it to maybe brown up just a little bit more. If this is what you're looking for when you fry up your peppers and onions. Everything is dried out in there. So now we're going to put our garlic in here because the onions are translucent. And this was about nine minutes, eight to nine minutes. We're gonna add a teaspoon of garlic. All right, teaspoon of garlic right in the center. Fry up a little bit. Mm 
And then we're going to add the spinach and bacon right away. And that spinach looks like a lot, but it's going to wilt down to hardly nothing. Got to keep that garlic moving so you don't burn it. And of course, you know me, I'm a messy cook, so I have junk all over the stove. Okay, we're going to crack some eggs here. So that's what it looks like so far. You just leave it sit a little bit, put a cover over it, and just leave the wilt, the spinach wilt down. This is getting, yeah, the spinach is really shrunk down. So it's about ready to add the eggs into here. See how dark the spinach is getting? The light color is going to dark like that. Yep, dark green. That's and good. It's almost ready to put the mixed eggs in. Don't want to wait too long or you're going to burn the garlic. Color. Yeah, don't want to wait too long. Couple minutes. Yeah, it's pretty well mixed. We have big chunks of spinach in one spot, so I think. Time to add the eggs. Yep. All right, we're going to add these eggs here. Five eggs. And stir it up. Just enough to mix it. Just enough to mix it. Yeah, you don't okay. have to go all crazy. To get it. Oops, I just did what you did now. So pretty even. We don't have big pools of eggs. And you're going to turn this heat down. Yeah, like three. To three? Medium low. Yeah. Medium low. And it's hotter on the first burner, so I turned down one latch before that, right. or below that. So medium low, and you're going to just leave this sit with a cover over the top. This is about four minutes, and if you shake it, it's still pretty yolky. That's not quite done yet. With this, you can tell it's very close to ready because around the edges here, it's turning brown. You can see the egg whites are getting done here, and it's more setting. And you shake it, it's still a little jiggly. But we're going to add some salt and pepper and turn on the broiler. Five minutes, we're going to turn on the broiler to high. Don't need a whole lot of that. And then we're going to add the one ounce of pepper jack cheese. Even those jiggly, you can see it's not like puddles. Yeah. Now we're going to put it under the broiler. you got to watch this really, really close. Do not walk away from this. That's the finished product. Looks really yummy. We will show you it all plated. I'll show you how easy this is to get out, or should be easy, assuming we oiled the pan good enough. And you have a good nonstick pan. This one's pretty good. So it should slide right out of there. There you go. And very little stuff in the pan. Can you lift that up so they can see the underside? And we just take take off these little side things here. Perfection. Wow, it looks good. Hot though. So that is it, guys. The cook with me. We're going to slice this in half. We each get a half a serving. Yeah, you leave it sit. It, it'll finish up its little cooking process, too. It's cleaned up a little bit.
Okay guys, that is our cook with me. It was really fun to make. We always enjoy making this and we work together at it. So it's really fast too. You can change this up to have a lot less points. Our, our first one we made that you saw when our lights went out was only three smart points for the same size. We used ham instead of bacon, which lowered the points. We didn't have bacon grease either. So that also lowered the points. You can do it for between three and five smart points. You can also use the mock sausage that we have and i'll put the link to that recipe down below for that video you can use that in here which will make it low points as well Pro i think it'll probably be about two or three points using that so you can kind of mix and match you can use lower fat cheese or fat free cheese on the top it all depends on how you want to make it so far we like the ham the best but we've just tried the ham and the bacon so we probably won't make it with bacon anymore because it's higher points and we didn't like it as much. So we're gonna stick with either the ham, we're gonna try our ground sausage next, tomorrow probably, we'll let you know how we like that. But so far, the ham is our choice because it's only three smart points versus five and we like it better. So that, you know, it all works out. You just pick and choose which ingredients you want to use in your frittata. Super easy to make and it's usually always perfect. It's pretty hard to burn the frittata unless you forget that it's in under the broiler. I have done that before with a food and it started on fire in my oven. <laughs> was that fun? It was that fun. I totally forgot it was in there and I also shut the door and you're not supposed to shut the door. Well, I didn't mean to shut it, but it kind of shut on its own when I bumped it and I didn't think about it because I just totally forgot it was under the broiler. Oh yeah, started on fire. That was fun. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching this cook with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you try it, let me know in comments below if you liked it. That is it for today. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to share this if you think anybody may enjoy this recipe. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. The video coming up next Monday will be our ranch wrap that I showed you previously in one of my videos. I was going to do that this Monday. But everybody was really excited about the frittata, so I thought, oh, I'll show the frittata this Monday, and then the wrap will be next week on Monday. Hey, do you remember 20-something years ago?